Welcome back to Speedway Thunder here at Southern National Speedway. We're just about ready for the GWR Construction Sportsman event. In fact, it's underway right now as they come around the fourth turn. At the end of the first lap, it's Jamie Mazingo in car number 22. He takes the lead and holds on to the lead flag to flag in this race. The number 48 car and the number one car, John Whitley, locked up in a tight battle there for the second yeah, position. This is John Whitley's first time on this track. He's raced dirt track, and uh, he's done fairly well at it. He's, his background is in dirt, and he has been a uh, previous dirt track champion. So uh, yeah, He doesn't disappoint his fans in this race, either. He has a real good showing here. The number 48 car, John Batten, running in second place there, and Whitley right on his tail. Mazingo way out in front and showing away at the moment. Caution flag coming down. We've got a problem right in front of the leaders down in turn yeah, three. Frank Dominic hits the back of Mazingo and wow, busts his radiator wide open. Mazingo pretty lucky to get out of that. Uh, that that crash occurred right in front of the leaders as they were coming down the back straightaway, just wide open, heading into that turn. And uh, you can see there, Frank's out of it. All of a sudden, the track is blocked there. Later in the race, the number zero car of Glenn Lancaster, excuse me, that's Glenn Thomas, the number zero car. Uh, Goldsboro. He was uh, throwing a lot of moisture on the track. Apparently, the overflow in the, in the catch can in the rear trunk of that, uh, that car overflowing and uh, throwing a lot of water down on the track. Did bring out the yellow flag, and the race was, uh, was halted momentarily while they dried up that moisture laid down by the Thomas car. The track officials pulling Thomas over and explaining to him that the moisture is coming from his car and he needs to pull that car into the pits and get that problem taken care of. Thomas did return to the track later on in the race and the problem resumed and it actually brought out a third caution period. So Thomas having a tough luck tonight. The number eight car of Deke McCaskill and the number one car of John Whitley locked up in a tight battle for second place. That race went door handle to door handle for about 30 laps. But coming around the start finish line to end this race, it's Mazingo finishing in first. Finishing and he was the uh, Mac Tool uh, pole winner tonight also. Finishing second was John Whitley. Deke McCaskill finished third and Batten was fourth. Close race out there. How'd it feel? Uh, it felt real good. The car was working perfect. I can't thank the crew enough. And I... Uh, all the sponsors, I tell you, it's kind of tough out there. There's about eight or ten cars in this class that really can't win this race. I mean, we got lucky, got the pole. We've got two consecutive weeks in a row. And uh, I tell you, we just we just got a little bit of luck on our side this year, and we're hoping to stay here. I don't think the luck has very much to do with us talking to your father. He said this car was a hand-me-down from him. Is that true? Yeah, yeah, this is his old car right here. He uh, lost a couple of sponsors last year. Couldn't afford to run two cars this year. And I... Uh, I was the youngest, so he put me in this car hoping we can maybe go somewhere. If we pick up a big sponsor, we hope we will. Obviously going towards the front, the number 22. Congratulations on your first win out here, Southern Nats.